Hello, and welcome back to Numis Max with Kenny. While I was at the ANA Summer Seminar, I had the opportunity to go to a very nice coin store right down the street from the ANA, Hallenbeck Coin Gallery. There I met Tom and Ken Hallenbeck, the two owners of the store, father and son. And here are some of the coins that I purchased. Next, first, I have an 1872 Russian 20 Kopecks. Next I have a 1900 Straight Salamence 10 cent piece. Silver. Next, I have a 1947 French Indochina one piastre. Next, I have a 1934 New Zealand three pence silver. Also, the 20 kopecks you saw earlier from Russia, that's also silver. Here's a 2000 Liberian $5 commemorative piece with the Titanic on it. Next, I have a 1928 Austria two shilling. Next, I have an 1876A Germany fifty pfennig. Next, I have a 1961B, Switzerland, 1 franc. I have a 1929, St. Thomas and Prince Island, 10 centavos. Very interesting piece. Here's an 1892 Sweden 10 ore. Here's a very nice high grade 1924 Austrian shilling. This is a very nice piece. I like the neat toning it has. It's a very attractive coin. Here's a 1957 Mexico 1 peso. Here's a 1964 South African 10 cents. You really need the light to see the actual design underneath the toning. Here's a 1959 South African 3 pence.
Here's a very nice high grade 1898 France, uh, French, 20 centimes, or 50 centimes. Here's a 1902 Great Britain, three pence. Here's a 1978 Liberian, one dollar. I guess celebrating self-reliance. Here's 1991, Great Britain, 50 pence. Celebrating Christmas. It's a nice proof example. Here's a 2000 Liberian $10 piece. Celebrating Air Force One Boeing 707. A nice proof example. Very nice. Here's a 1949 New Caledonia 50 cent time. Here's a 1908 Russian 5 Kopecks. Uh, this is actually a 15 Kopecks piece. Oh well. It's, it's a little labeled incorrectly, but still a nice piece. Here's an 1887 Hong Kong 5 cent piece. Nicely detailed. Here's a 1934 Austrian two shilling. There's a 1975 Panama 50 centimos, centesimos, a nice proof example. And this thing you see right here in the field, that's on the flip. Here's a 1956F, Germany, one mark. Here's a 1973 Barbados $2 proof piece. Oops. Here's a 1955 East Caribbean States half cent. Here's a 1966 proof Jersey five shilling piece. It's not the prettiest proof in the world by any means.
Here's a very nice 1964 Grease 30 Drachma. This is, this is in such high grade and a very neat high relief. That's a very nice coin. Here's a 1993 Liberian $1 with Nolan Ryan celebrating seven career no-hitters. Same on that side. Here's an 1891 Great Britain 3 pence. Here's a 1930 Cape Verde 20 centavos. Here's a 1933 New Zealand 3 pence. Is a nice 1956 Hungarian 10 forint. This is a nice high grade example. I really like the design and how it looks in such a nice grade. Here is a 2000 Liberian $5 piece with uh, the Statue of Liberty on the other side. It's a proof example. Almost doesn't look proof. But the edge has the reflective the reflectivity as a proof would have. Which makes it a proof. Now here is a 2000 Liberian $10 piece with John F. Kennedy Jr. This is just commemorating him when he dies in 1999. In 2000, they made a commemorative for him. Like it says, in loving memory, 1960 to 1999. Now, fi oh, no, now finally, here is a 1964 Mexico peso. Now finally, I got two very neat Panama Balboas. So here is the one, here's a Panama Balboa from 1971. A nice proof example. I like how the presentation is. How it says it's uh, minted at the uh, San Francisco Mint, and they only made 6,863 of them. I'm giving a presentation at one of my local coin clubs about uh, world coins minted at the United States, and these are going towards that uh, presentation because they're very neat to look at and uh, they're very nice coins. Here's a 1972 Panama Balboa proof. Now this one they made a little bit more. They made 10,081 
and but and it was already also struck at the San Francisco Mint. Well, thank you for viewing my video. Please like and subscribe to my channel and share my videos on any social media outlet you belong to. Also, if you're ever in Colorado Springs or mm -hmm. even at the ANA, I would definitely take the time to go down to Howland Beck Coin Store. It's very it's a very short walk from the ANA building. Thank you.